Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, this will probably be old news to a lot of you guys out there, but I was away for most of the weekend, so I apologize for my lateness. But uh, if you somehow managed to avoid this for the past 24 hours, then I have some pretty interesting news to share with you today. So basically, last night, around this time, uh, Doke on Twitter kind of went into a frenzy over this image you see on the screen right now. And what this is, is a preview for the upcoming 7th anniversary of Dokkan, which is starting in, I want to say less than two weeks on JP. And the big reveal from this picture is this icon you can see over my head. Actually, hold on. Let me just make my face disappear. There you go. So as you guys can see, there's a big seven in front of the icon for, of course, seven years. And then behind it, we have a base Goku and a base Vegeta. And by the way, this is the app icon for the anniversary, in case that wasn't obvious. But uh, yeah, when people saw this, they got super, super excited and speculation was rampant. But this actually wasn't everything because around the same time, we also happened to get another post by Benio, who is one of the main artists for Dokkan Battle, and he posted this picture that he drew of a Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta and Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Now, I'm not saying anything's confirmed, right? At this point, it's still speculation. We really can't say it's uh, official until Bandai says it themselves. But what I am saying is that it seems like all the signs are pointing towards the fact that this year for the Dual Dokkan Fest for the seventh anniversary, there will be a new Blue Gogeta and Vegito Blue. And uh, if that's the case, then that's awesome. I mean, obviously it wouldn't really be a surprise because it does fit the theme of essentially every other anniversary we've had so far in the sense that it's focused on Goku and Vegeta and that's fine. But personally, like if I had my own choice, I would have preferred if they kind of deviated from that this year and kind of changed things up and did like a villain plus a hero, kind of like a Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta and a full power Broly, for example. To me, that would have been more hype just because it would have been different, but I'm not complaining if it ends up being a Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta and Super Saiyan Blue Vegito because it doesn't really get much more hype than this when it comes to Dragon Ball. And obviously, people have different opinions. I know there are some people out there who don't like the fusions or don't like one of them, Vegito or Gogeta, and that's cool. But uh, like most people, I can always go for more fusions in my life. So if this is going to be this year's Duel Dokkan Fest, then I'm 100% okay with this. Like, I don't mind it at all. Now, the one thing I will say is that I really hope they're gonna be standalone, Blue Gogeta and Vegito Blues. I don't want any transformations. I don't want a Goku and Vegeta that fuse after a couple turns or, you know, through an active skill or anything like that. Last year, I think the um, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and UI Goku were perfect because they started as SSB Vegeta and UI Goku. You didn't have to go through, you know, four or five turns or lose X amount of HP or meet some other condition to use the unit in their full power or in their most powerful state, you could just use UI Goku and SSB Vegeta from turn one, which is why I feel like those LRs aged probably the best out of uh, any anniversary units we've seen so far. And uh, I hope that this year, if we get a Gogeta and Vegito, it starts off as Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta and Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. No transformations, no active skills, no fusions, nothing like that, just full power from the start. That's what I want to see, but of course, given the app icon, which is a base Goku and base Vegeta, I think it's more likely that this unit or these units will still start off as Goku and Vegeta and then eventually fuse, which uh, would still be fine. That'd be okay. I'm sure they would still be very, very powerful. I just think that we have too many of those units in the game at this point. We have like the third anniversary Dual Dokkan Fest with the 
Goku and Vegeta that become Super Gogeta and Super Vegito. And then we also have the STR Vegito, we have the Tech Gogeta. So that's four, right? Um, is there anything else that I'm missing? I think that's it. But either way, four I think is enough for now. I don't want to add two more Goku and Vegetas into the game. I really hope, fingers crossed, that it's a standalone Goku, or rather uh, Gogeta and Vegito. But if they are going to do a Goku and Vegeta for both, then at the very least, hopefully they make it a little bit more interesting, like something that we haven't seen before. Maybe one of them is a Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta, and then the other one is a Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Something like that, just to change things up a bit, right? But once again, if I had my say, they would definitely just start off on turn one as Vegito and Gogeta, and that would be it. And obviously, I'm not talking about base Gogeta and Vegito, because we already got that for the fifth anniversary. I want to see Super Saiyan Blue on turn one. That would be amazing. So, uh, yo, Bandai Spies, if you're watching this, and you guys happened to design units that, you know, fuse, then just go back to the drawing board and make standalone Gogetas and Vegitos, and uh, everyone will be happy. I promise you, your sales will be much better than if you had done the Goku and Vegeta thing. And uh, yeah, that's my free advice to Bandai Spies out there. Um, but yeah, that is today's video, guys. There's really not much more to talk about because we don't really have any other legit info. Uh, the live stream for the anniversary this year should be happening fairly soon. I think sometime next week, but I don't have an exact date or time for you guys, so I'm not going to say much more about that. But uh, more information about the anniversary coming shortly for now. We have this picture from Fenyo, who is once again a very legit source because he is one of the primary artists for Dokkan. And uh, we also have this app icon with a Goku and Vegeta. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys think that it is going to be a Vegito Blue and Blue Gogeta, or do you think that this is just a diversion or maybe a coincidence that Fenyo happened to post this around the same time that the uh, app icon was revealed. I mean, it could just be something to distract us, right? They could be trying to throw us off with this information and then drop something completely different, like, uh, I don't know, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4 Vegito or something to that effect. I don't really know. You know, anything is possible. Um, I'm all for change. I'm all for something new. So if they want to break that mold and drop a villain for the anniversary or maybe two villains, that'd be even better, then uh, I'd be down for that. But we'll see. We'll see. For now, it seems like this is going to be the Dual Dokkan Fest, so let me know how you guys feel about it. And if you don't think it's going to be this, then what are your ideas for uh, the 7th anniversary for Dokkan? Anyways, guys, I definitely will have more videos in the near future updating you guys on everything we know about the uh, anniversary. For now, that's all I gotta say. And as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.